Hi, and welcome to the future of application development with cloud databases. My name is Min, and I am a product manager for Cloud Firestore. Joined with me today is Nathan, a software engineer from DOT. Today's session will be focused on resolving one key question. Why is it so challenging to build and scale applications? And more importantly, what is Google doing to make application development easier? To answer this question, we'll begin by reviewing two popular application architectures. Choosing an architecture has a large impact on how an application is built and how it scales. In the second part of the session, you'll hear a customer testimonial from Dot describing how thoughtful architectural decisions have impacted their business. Finally, we'll round out the session with new product announcements and resources to learn more about Firestore. Let's get started. Imagine for a moment that you're writing a new application and decide to use a more traditional end-tier architecture. Today's example can apply to any general purpose application but to ground the discussion, let's assume it's an e-commerce app. At the heart of the application is a database. The database is used to store data. In front of the database are typically a set of microservices that manage your application's business logic. Let's assume that you have three separate microservices, a service for your product catalog, a service for your product inventory, and lastly, a service for your shopping carts. As usage for your microservices grow and declines, you'll need to load balance traffic while horizontally scaling and compacting capacity. And in order to secure access to these microservices, you'll need to add an API gateway. Finally, to enable broad distribution of your application, you'll need to develop clients for the web, Android, and even iOS. Furthermore, if you want to make sure that your users always have the latest data, you can access your application when they're offline, you'll need to add support for web sockets and an offline caching system. As you can see, there's a lot of technical complexity here. Unfortunately, technical complexity can be the enemy of business innovation. Let's examine the downstream impact this architecture has. First, operationalizing all the services that support an application can be intensive. Second, each layer of the architecture typically represents specialized teams, which means complex dependency planning and therefore potential risks for a project delay. Third, sourcing talent for each layer of the architecture can be difficult and expensive, especially in competitive hiring markets like today. Let's figure out how Google is solving for each of these challenges, starting with the operational challenge. Google offers management services for each layer of the stack. With Cloud SQL, for example, we will assist you in operationalizing popular relational databases, such as PostgreSQL, MySQL, or even Microsoft SQL. With Kubernetes Engine, we will assist you in operationalizing your microservices. With Apigee, we will assist you in operationalizing your API gateway. So the combination of these management services from Google will assist you in operationalizing each layer of the stack while still enabling high customization. Alternatively, if you're interested in taking the serverless route, you can use Cloud Run to run your microservices and Firestore as your database. Choosing to go the serverless route allows you to delegate operational complexity to Google bringing out your team to focus on product development. Okay, we've addressed operational complexity, but what about 
projects or hiring complexity. Let's examine how a deeper investment in Firestore can address the remaining challenges. Firestore is a serverless document database that can also act as a complete document as a service. Firebase Auth is a service that allows you to delegate your applications auth and user management to Google. Firestore and Firebase Auth are seamlessly integrated. Using the combination of these two services allows customers to focus on UI development, delegating secure auth and backend service management to Google. Furthermore, you'll get built-in functionality for real-time synchronization, connection management between clients and your database, and offline caching using the Firestore SDKs. So by using Firestore as a backend as a service, you can focus on UI development, and UI teams are empowered to make decisions as they no longer are dependent on changes from backend teams. With universal application frameworks like Google Flutter or Facebook React, you can now write native applications using a single code base and deploy them across multiple client platforms, such as the web, Android, and iOS. Firestore fully supports these universal app frameworks with an easy to use set of client SDKs. As a result, with Firestore and universal app frameworks, you can focus on hiring for Flutter or React skills from a very large pool of developers. The result of these investments enables you to focus on business innovation through a single autonomous team and code base. There are many factors that go into application development. And at Google, we're investing in a complete ecosystem for app development. This includes one, core UI frameworks and operating systems to build applications. Two, in-app services from Firebase to manage aspects like auth. And three, back-end services from Google Cloud to manage aspects like back office analytics using BigQuery. Firestore brings together these portfolio investments in an intelligent way by enabling seamless integration into each of these portfolios. Frequently, applications rely on third-party services, and it's important that these services are also seamlessly integrated with Firestore. One popular integration request we've received has been an integration with Elastic. Today, we're excited to announce, in partnership with Elastic, a new extension that streams changes from a Firestore database to an Elastic App Search instance. You can install this extension and many other third-party extensions from the Firebase Extensions directory. So in summary, Firestore allows customers to focus on business value and product differentiation through a document database that can also act as a backend as a service. With over 250,000 monthly active developers, you can have confidence that the solution is backed by a large community of developers. Furthermore, with Firestore applications now supporting 750 million monthly active end users using Firebase Auth, you can be confident that Firestore will scale to your business's needs. We've covered the traditional end tier and Firestore architectures. Let's review the strengths of each. The traditional end tier offers high customizability and is compatible with popular open source frameworks and libraries. However, as we explained in this session, this normally comes at the trade-off of technical, project, and hiring complexity. Pricing for this solution is often driven by the capacity model, which means that you have to configure how capacity is scaled and your build for capacity even when it's not fully utilized. Firestore, on the other hand, provides a fully integrated Google-based solution that significantly reduces technical, operational, project, 
and hiring complexity. Customers who choose Firestore have the flexibility to use it as a backend as a service, in an M-tier architecture, or maybe a hybrid of the both. Since it's serverless, pricing for Firestore is based on actual operations conducted, storage used, or network egress. And with that, I'm excited to introduce Nathan from Dot, who will share how Dot uses Firestore. Good morning, I'm Nathan, one of the engineers who joined DOT at the very beginning of our journey. We are a micromobility operator with over 50,000 e-scooters and e-bikes across 35 cities in Europe. We are active in nine countries, in capitals like London, Paris and Warsaw, and many more cities. I have been fortunate to participate in growing our company from the very first scooter to tens of thousands we operate today. To see our engineering organization expand to over 30 people, looking forward to welcoming many more before the year's end. To enable millions to take clean rides. At DOT, we deeply care about the environment and we try to reduce our carbon footprint as much as possible. While Google Cloud is carbon neutral, it's even better not to consume any kind of resources in the first place. That's why we choose technologies which rapidly up and down scale to precisely match our needs. Firestore is one of these technologies. It has been a core to our solutions from the very beginning. We started on Firestore by connecting our vehicles which frequently send information about their location and relevance to telemetry. We quickly moved to user-facing features, using Firestore as a backend. Connecting to it directly from our apps allowed us to work efficiently and independently. We were a small team back then. Removing the need for any backend development allowed us to ship features quickly. In a single day, with real-time synchronization, we were able to implement a vibrant live map of available scooters. Over time, we added many functionalities, from basic ones, like starting and ending a trip, to more complex, such as payment processing, where accuracy is critical. For these functionalities, Firestore provided us not only with an ability to develop rapidly, but with an ability to develop with confidence, allowing us to ensure correctness with the use of transactions. The world changes all the time. So does our business. More sophisticated functionalities required specialized services. We have developed a lot of these, and each time, Firestore has proven to be a good fit. Some of these services replaced direct reads from our apps when we needed complexity that was easier to manage with a dedicated backend. But we are grateful we didn't have to implement all of this, these back in the days when there were just a few of us. Some of the recent changes we all experienced were challenging for individuals and businesses alike. Shelter in place orders, while necessary, affected every one of us and affected a lot of companies, including DOT. Our choice to utilize Firestore and other serverless products helped us navigate shelter in place. With the lower usage came a lower bill with the expected one-to-one -one correlation. Nowadays, many lean more towards individual transportation, such as with the use of e-scooters and e-bikes, due to health safety reasons. At DOT, we see many more riders and trips in comparison to pre-COVID numbers, with utilization of our fleet 75% higher in some cities, such as Brussels. 
Scalability of Firestore enabled us to support this demand without requiring any changes on our side. As regards our infrastructure, we simply don't have to worry what happens next. Firestore will adapt to our needs and support us in our journey. Now that you know a bit more about our history, it's a good time to share with you what I think about it in retrospect. While at the beginning we were considering other databases, relational, graph and document oriented, today I know that we couldn't have made a better choice than Firestore. That's why it's such a pleasure for me to be here today and give this testimony. Thank you all and thank you, the Firestore team. Back to you, Min. Thank you, Nathan, for sharing Dot's journey. I'm excited about Dot's impact on the future of transportation, and we appreciate the opportunity to partner with Dot. Next, I'll be sharing exciting product announcements for Firestore. Firestore is committed to the security and privacy of our customers. To demonstrate that commitment, I'm excited to announce four new features. With data access audit logs, privileged administrators will be able to audit all operations conducted on the database. With custom IAM, customers will be able to align Firestore permissions to their organization's IAM roles. You can get started with data access audit logs in custom IAM today. With VPC service controls, customers will be able to reduce exfiltration risks using network level security controls. And with AppCheck, customers will be able to ensure only signed and pre-authorized client applications are allowed to make requests to Firestore. Both the previews of VPC service controls and AppCheck will be rolling out in Q4. Firestore's developer experience truly sets it apart, and we are continually investing in this area. With Key Visualizer, customers will be able to quickly identify performance issues with a visual performance profiler. With the latest version of our web SDK, we have added tree shaking, which enables the reduction of the SDK footprint by as much as 80%. That means faster load times for your application. Both Key Visualizer and the new Web SDK are generally available today. We'll also be graduating the Unity and C SDKs to general availability in Q4. Both of these SDKs are focused on making it easier to develop mobile games using Firestore. Lastly, I'm excited to announce the graduation of Cloud Functions Triggering to general availability. Cloud Functions Triggering enables customers to execute custom business logic in response to changes to a Firestore document. The session is coming to an end, but I hope this was just the beginning of a shared journey. If you want to take a moment to try Firestore out for yourself, you can take a peek at our quick start guides. YouTube learning series, and Quick Labs. If you have additional questions about using Firestore, we encourage you to post those questions on Stack Overflow. My name was Min, and I hope that you enjoyed today's session. If you did, please take a moment to fill out the follow-up survey. Bye for now.